okie dokie. So as you can see, the car has been moved. Last night, I was uh, up until like 2 or 3 a.m. trying to figure out how to put that reservoir in. I got it in. And here's the car. There's st I woke up this morning, I did go check on it. And there was still a, s there's a, it's a smaller leak now. It's a light leak. I don't know what you'd call it. A slow leak, I guess. Uh, so that's the issue now. And when I went to go drive it to bring it to the car wash, found out uh, the brakes are poop. So now I need to get brakes. And then figure out about that uh, that, that slow leak. I found some more dings after the car got washed. I'm gonna get it. More, I'm gonna get it probably detailed next week. There's a this guy I was talking to. He said he details cars. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess the dings are not that bad. I mean, they're bad, but they're not like crazy. It's the rust spots I'm worried about. But, oh, there goes a 7 Series, I think. But, it, uh, it runs. Last night when I, I was, after I put the coolant in, and, or, yeah, I put some coolant in, and I put, uh, water, <clears throat> and... And uh, what else did I do? Yeah, after I got everything set up, I uh, got into the car, started driving it around the block. And it started overheating. And I was like, what's going on? So I Googled why. I couldn't really find out. Then I was just like, let me use my logic here. And I Googled how much, how much coolant do you need in, a, in this car? Turns out you need two gallons of half and half. So you buy four quarts and then you buy one gallon of distilled water. And then there you go. You mix it up and then you put it all in. Now, I did not put any coolant in this car because I don't want to spend over $100 on coolant that's gonna slowly leak out. I, cause yeah, it's like 20 something dollars per per quart for this for this car. For for the blue, I use the blue one. Tell me if I'm wrong or right. If I'm supposed to be using the blue one. But that is not for drinking purposes. That is for refilling purposes. I don't think I need to refill it anytime soon, but it is I feel like it might be leading, bleeding. I don't know. I can't really say, I don't wanna say. I don't really know. But yeah, I feel like it can go a day without having to uh, fill it up or anything like that. The sign didn't come on. It will tell me, this car is very sensitive. I used to have a Honda and my thing was bone dry and it still went. And I didn't realize and then one day I was like, whoa, this is dry. I think I even drove the Honda without oil once. I did actually, funny story. It's not a funny story, it's a sad story. But I was at work. I used to do my own oil change. Probably still will, after I figure out how to do an oil change on this car, if I have it that long. Cause I, I already got an offer. No, I didn't get an offer, but when I woke up this morning, there was a, uh, there was a piece of paper stuck between my windshield or whatever this is called again. I forgot what it's called. Um, and the person wrote, selling, question mark. And then they wrote their number on the paper. And I was like, haha, that's so funny. I probably will text them like, yeah, I'm going to sell it, but not at this minute. It's probably not what they want to hear. Unless they give me a good price. And I can just like, yo, this is the issues and uh, beam. So this is so ugly. But anywho. Yeah, last night when I was driving it, overheated. So I was like, oh my God. 
So this morning, I'm like, let me fill it up. I just filled it up. I started seeing a little drip drop. I'm like, it's not that bad, but you know, you don't want to, you just want to drive a car. You don't have to think about all the stuff you have to do. And yeah, I'm going to get that done. I need to get it over to my mechanic shop. You can lift it up. We can look under the car, find that leak and take it from there. And do the brakes on the, on the same. The brakes are horrible. I shouldn't probably even be... I don't even know. I should... No, no. I can drive it. <laughs> They're good to drive. I just uh, don't drive fast. Yeah. To show you a startup. I think I did a startup before. Got a keychain. I'm going overboard. I don't know why. Car's not even that fast. I don't think it's that fast. I, don't even, I haven't like gone past 50 in this car because of the brake issue. Yeah. The the AC right now smells like feet every time I turn it on. Probably that's from sitting or being in the cold climate. And there's like moisture in the system. I don't know. But the AC is nice and cool. I, I feared that it wasn't going to work. But it blows strong. Right now it's uh, 73 degrees in here. I think I can get it to 60 something. It could be colder. But, oh, what's this? Oh my God, I just learned something new. I'm so stupid. <laughs> okay. This is, I thought this was like the, I thought this was like the control of the temperature, but it's not. This is just how hard the AC is blowing. Yeah, now it's getting even colder. I am so stupid, man. I learn something new every day. That's so funny. Okay. I was actually fine with the temperature that I had. I'll take it at a 70. <laughs> okay. And uh, the car still has half a tank on it. When I got the car, it came with gas in it. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool. So, still have a tank. I've been driving it probably for three or four hours now. Just trying to see if the water holds the temperature. And it does perfectly fine. But I was reading online that uh, water should only be a temporary thing. Don't leave it into your car too long because um, it doesn't have the same properties like, like I guess, anti-corrosion and Freon in it. So, or free, free, something free. I think it was Freon, right? Or anti-free. I don't remember. You didn't come to this channel to get proper words. You came to this channel for me making mistakes and me starting right here and going up, up, up past here, okay? We're learning, we're learning. This car is slowly but surely will get there. I like the controls though. Does it pull the volume? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna hit the gym right now. And when I get back, I'm gonna check the See how low the water is in the reservoir. I'll see you guys later.